Black women were quilty as part of the anti-slavery movement, as part of the civil rights movement. There are George Floyd quilts, social justice quilts. Wherever there is our history and our story, you're gonna find a quilt. Historically, we have quilted and sewn as seamstresses to make functional things, so clothing to make bedding and so forth. But there have been quilting guilds that I have seen in my research for decades, where we come together as women, and they're, they're Black men who quilt as well, but we're coming together and we're quilting for our communities as well as for our families. So there are quilts that were made during slave times. For example, Harriet Power's Bible quilt. She was a former slave, but that Bible thing quilt that she made has different blocks, have different stories from the Bible. Everyone knows that Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat on the bus. I mean, that was one of the impetus for the bus boycott movement. And she was a seamstress. Mrs. Parks was also a quilter, and she made phenomenal, detailed hand quilts. Many people have heard about the G's Ben quilters, again, inspired by the civil rights movement. There was a quilt made by a woman in the 70s by the name of Jessie Talford, and she was from Georgia. She was encouraged to register to vote in Georgia. And so she took a day off of work, went to vote, and when she got back to work, she was a school cafeteria worker and she was fired for the simple act of registering to vote. And Mrs. Talford made a quilt that's beautiful. It is the word freedom and each quilt block is one letter, repeated like six times. It's just bold and beautiful. I think it's important to keep shining a light on important figures in Black history because we as a culture are not a monolith. I did one of Henrietta Lacks. She just had such an amazing and tragic story and I wanted to quote her. I put her on a blue background with white stars, and I used a red border because I felt like she was an American hero. One other quote that I really love is the Martin Luther King and Coretta Scott King quilt that I made, and it shows a very sweet moment between them, and I just wanted to show Black love in a positive way. Another quote I'm really proud of is called Alabama Authors, and it showcases women who were born in Alabama or raised in Alabama. The quote right now is hanging in my local library. My grandmother was a quilter. She didn't do it in a fancy way. She used old clothes and she hand sewed. But those quilts in our family are so treasured and there's so many memories. And now that she's passed on, I can still have a piece of something that she made with her hands. I'll use my grandmother's old suits and polyester fabrics in the quilts. And so like, that makes me feel super connected to her. And, and then I just share a piece of her with, with someone else they don't even know, but that lets, lets her live on, um, you know, another generation.